finally have some Halo Infinite system requirements on Steam, both minimum and recommended. I'm very excited to see this. Let's dive right in. I don't want to waste your time. We'll get right into the specs, but stick around. I'm not only going to just read you the specs. I'm going to tell you the details about what all of this means. I'm going to look up gameplay footage on YouTube for you to get some performance ideas, at least from performance test. Hopefully the final game will perform better on some of the minimum and recommended GPU setups here. So we have an idea of what these are targeting frame rate wise, because they don't say, they just say minimum and recommended. And then also I'm gonna give you an idea of how to tell if you, how your system compares to these minimum and recommended if you don't have one of these exact GPUs. So stick around. But anyway, let's jump into the minimum. So it does look like it's claiming to require Windows 10. Uh, it also looks like we are going to require at least eight gigabytes of RAM for minimum, and we're gonna want 16 for recommended. That's fairly standard these days. Processor-wise, there's a big jump between the minimum and the recommended. We'll get into those details uh, right here. So the AMD FX 8370 is a fairly old eight core processor, whereas the Intel i5-4440 is a four core, four thread processor. I have the specs here, so uh, right here, and links to everything I talk about will be in the description. So here's the uh, FX8370, and you can see that this launched back in uh, September 2nd, 2014, and this was an eight core, eight thread chip. And we can see that the i5-4440 launched back in 2013 and was four core, four thread chip. Although I believe that in single core performance from my memory, I think the um, 4440 was performing stronger than each of the uh, cores in this eight core chip. And that might be why it's putting them there uh, kind of lined up against each other. I'm not 100% sure we'll get, I, I, it was hard to find um, people benchmarking the CPUs in the performance test. So right now I'm gonna be honest here, I think if you're on these minimum CPUs, I'm not sure you're gonna be getting a stable 60 frames per second, although it's possible. That's just my gut feeling. I'm not saying you can't be at 60 a lot of the time, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some dips there. Um, because these are getting to be fairly old CPUs, especially since the recommended, which might be what we're looking for, for more of a 60 frames per second and up experience, um, are a Ryzen 7 3700X and an i7 9700K, which are much newer and much, much more powerful CPUs. The uh, Ryzen 7 3700X came out in 2019, and this is an eight core 16 thread chip and is quite powerful. Um, I believe a little bit stronger than actually what we see in the uh, new consoles, the PS5 and the Series X. Um, but it's, it's, it's that same CPU architecture as we're seeing in those consoles. The i7 9700K is a 2018 Intel chip that is eight core, eight thread. It does not have hyper threading up to 16 thread. Um, so it's definitely looking like the game is recommending you're having eight strong modern cores. Um, 9700K, just as I'm somebody who looks at a lot of system requirements, that's higher than I've seen in a, in, in a lot of other recommendations. And my system actually only has a 9600K, which is six core, six thread. We'll see how that goes when I get the game. Maybe I can do some benchmarks. Anyway. <clears throat> Um, you can then look into where your chip falls uh, in line between this. I'm imagining many people actually fall below the recommended processor requirement if you build your PC uh, a couple, two or three years ago. All right, um, so I already mentioned eight gigabytes versus 16 gigabytes on RAM. And now let's look at the GPUs, which usually, again, have the biggest impact on actual gaming. So an RX 570 or 1050 Ti, for the minimum. That's a little bit interesting because here's where we'll jump into like, where does yours fall? If you go to somewhere like Tech Power Up, and again, link will be in the description, this is a good idea to figure out where yours falls in between because they do based on their reviews, you can select a GPU like the GTX uh, 1050 Ti, and it can put that as like 100%, and then you can see where things fall relative to that. What's interesting to me here 
is it looks like, according to their testing, the, um, uh, let's see if we can find where the uh, RX 570 falls um, in performance uh, compared to this. That actually, they're saying in, in a lot of games would be like 42% faster than a 1050 Ti. Now, some game engines will favor one architecture over another, and that is possible that that's what's happening here. Um, but just keep in mind that those those minimum recommend uh, minimum GPUs are not normally exactly equivalent. Now, what kind of performance can we expect from those minimums? Well, actually, let's see if I can find the right tab here. I did find somebody who uploaded footage from the Halo Infinite preview on a 1050 Ti, tested at various settings. Now, they did not say what CPU or, or how much RAM they were using or anything like that. Um, I don't want to show this whole video, but you can see right there they were running at 1080p, and they basically set everything to low. I'll link this video in my description if you want to see more of it, because I don't want to just steal content. But running around here, they are um, around 60 frames per second, although we do get dips, um, dips in combat. You can, again, take a look at this link in my uh, description to get more info there. But it does look like the 1050 Ti being a minimum recommended, uh, minimum, not re minimum requirement, there we go, <laughs> does seem like it could possibly be targeting 60 frames per second, 1080p, at everything at absolute minimums. So, um, the performance preview again for the game will hopefully actually be performing worse than the actual launch game, which has had several months more to, you know, actually develop and um, fix some of the performance issues it was having. Now let's jump over to the recommended GPUs, where we have the RX 5700 XT and NVIDIA's RTX 2070. Now, I actually um, am in the process of selling my 2070. <laughs> I just upgraded to 6800 XT, but I'm very familiar with the 2070. And it's generally been a very solid 1440p card um, and is usually overkill at something like 1080p. And the 5700 XT can perform similarly or actually sometimes better, although you know you don't have the DLSS and stuff, but uh, to my knowledge, uh, Halo's not, not um, going to support that. Uh, but let's jump over and see, I believe I found, um, the closest thing I could find on uh, when I searched for the recommended requirements was I found a system that's apparently running an i7-9700K and an RX 5700 XT, which um, should give us an idea of what kind of performance this is targeting um, for their recommended, at least in the gameplay preview. Now, notice that they're saying that this is maximum settings. So this is 1080p using the recommended settings. I want you to keep an eye on the frame rate up here. That's in the 40s. Now, again, this is the gameplay preview, but I've got to say that seeing GPUs this strong, a 5700 XT is, is a strong GPU, and this is at 1080p, um, seeing any amount of struggling here to hit 60 F FPS is, is a little bit concerning. It's also a little odd to me that it doesn't seem like we're seeing maximum usage on either the CPU or the GPU. Um, so I'm, hope, I'm hoping that their um, beta test was just badly op optimized and the actual game will be doing much better. But again, it's looking like at maximum settings, um, at least in the beta, this was not delivering <laughs> this actual recommended sy system was not even delivering a smooth 60 frames per second. Um, at least on that test uh, from that guy. I didn't test it myself. Uh, that's concerning to see, although hopefully maybe optimizations um, or maybe, you know, sometimes maximum settings have a few things that are just really stupid and like turning one tiny thing down that you don't even notice gives you a huge frame rate bump. So I would hope that by the time this is optimized, uh, that you'd be at getting at least 60 frames per second 1080p on, on maximum settings. Um, but that that beta benchmark there is a little bit, tad bit concerning. Now, where do you fall in terms of that? Well, if we take a look at an RTX 2070 on this tech power up GPU tier list, 
And we have the 5700 XT here, again, ranked very close, maybe slightly faster on average, but it depends on the game and all of that. Um, we can now see where those fall. So for example, if you're on a newer GPU, like an RTX 3060, that's actually very similar in performance to these two GPUs. On average, again, some game engines will favor NVIDIA over AMD architectures. It depends. Uh, maybe you're back here on like a 1660 Super. Well, then you're at about 71% of the recommended, right? So you might uh, suspect to get 71% of the performance at the same settings. Although this isn't really that simple since you can always turn up and down settings and unless you're at the very bottom end where you just everything's on as low as it goes, you know, but at the more of the high end recommended looking at ultra settings, you can always tweak things a bit, you know, and get some frame rate back. So we don't know everything at this point. This is all I can read into based on the system requirements. Hopefully you found it interesting. This site is a nice one to go to to see how your GPU might fall in comparison. For example, my 6800 XT is up here, um, you know, at 89% um, higher than the um, uh, recommended. However, um, I'm gonna be trying to play at 4K. Speaking of 4K and uh, high-end GPUs, RTX 3080, uh, did, I, did I save that here? I believe this is an RTX 3080 trying to play the game over here at PC World, and they're uh, they're struggling a bit um, <laughs> to to even keep a 60 frames per second solid here. This is bouncing in the 50s and 60s, and I believe that's again maxed out 4K on a 3080. All right, guys, I hope all of you have an excellent day.